In this video we're going to demonstrate creating items or products from the FM accounting file and pushing those or uploading those from FileMaker to MYB account right. So let's jump into our list of items. These are all the existing items we've already downloaded. Uh, so let's go and create a new item and we'll go into the details of that. So here we can enter the basically the same details that you would uh, in account right. So we'll give this item a name. So we'll call it widgets. Uh, we'll call it standard Australian widgets um, and we can specify whether we buy, uh, sell or inventory this item. So I'm just going to say it's an item that we sell, we're not buying it and we're not um, inventorying it. So I just need to go straight to the selling details. I'll say we sell this for $150, uh, the unit method is each, we have one per unit and the tax code will be uh, GST and we want to calculate uh, GST tax on the actual selling price and the price is tax exclusive so I think I have everything I need although I do actually need to put in the revenue or the income account um, as this is something that we're selling so we'll just call this uh, produce income and I think I've got everything so let's try and upload this so uh, we've made it active let's go push to MYB and it's going to uh, try and create that record in uh, MYB and it was successful. So like with all the other uploads, we store the MYB uh, item ID. It's their unique identifier. So if we were to make any changes, for example, if we needed to change the price, so the price has gone up to $175, uh, we can simply make the change in FileMaker and uh, re-upload the record. And in this case, it's going to simply update the record. We won't create a duplicate. Um, all from FileMaker. So let's make its request over the internet to the cloud and it'll come back uh, either with a success or an error. And this is taking a few seconds longer than normal. Hopefully my internet is still working. Yes it is, sorry about that. Okay, and there it is. So like with all the requests, we store the most recent result uh, in this field down here and you can always examine this if you want to uh, see all the data that's been returned from uh, MYB. Uh, so that's uh, how you upload and update an inventory item or product from FileMaker to account right.